Hi there. Do you remember the FreeSky X Lite I used not long ago? And I started trying to use it on all my new models because it's nice and compact. And I flew the, uh, I always get this wrong, HDLRC Batman 220 with it. But I felt I was a little bit clumsy on the thumbs. And I've still got this to fly again with the uh, GoPro on it. So what happened is one of my Patreon supporters, Andrea, said, hey, I've got a, a spare set of sticks, if you like, and I must just tell a story about why he's got them. This is the actual Free Sky stick set. You see, you get a longer set and a shorter set. You also get this neck mount support, and he also sent me this little uh, dipole lantern you can put in the back. Now, the reason he got this was he ordered himself a set and then found out that his wife had ordered him the exact same thing. Um, so he, of course, kept the ones his wife gave him and he sent the others on to me. So thanks very much, Andrea. And what a keeper that wife is to get you something as specific as a new set of um, thumb things for your x Lite. Amazing. So they're actually quite subtle. Um, let me show a, a close-up between the smallest and the tallest. Basically, what I have in here are the medium set. Uh, swapping them over is just a case of literally unscrewing and then screwing one back in. And on the this one here, I've got the, the normal stock one, and this is the longer one. So at first glance, it doesn't seem that different, but when you feel them, there is a definite difference in how your thumbs feel on them. And I know a, a bunch of guys that are pinchers are now finding they can actually do so with these sticks, and in combination with the neck strap. I'll show you how this goes on, but this is probably not the thing for me, I have to say. It just basically goes, over like a sleeve and just set and obviously the the guys I, I feel this is for the guys that do pinch because they they often want a little bit more support so they can sort of concentrate on their pinching and let it sort of rest whereas us thumbers tend to support it more underneath so we haven't got quite the issue with it but um, I mean if I was going to fit it on I think I'd be prepared to spray paint it uh, because white on black is not looking that hot I have to admit but yeah, we'll test this out as well. What you've got on the back, as I talked about in the review, you've got this little rubber section, which is actually quite difficult to get out. It really does suck in well. And then this will just screw in like so. I'm guessing where I've got my antennas upwards like that, I'm guessing I would like to be like that with a radio to get the polarisation about right. So just a quick word of warning here. If you are using an external antenna, there is an extra little thing in your model set so you can say uh, antenna and say go to external now it says if you're switching check it because if you don't have a proper antenna there and you set it to external you can damage your radio now the only problem is of course if you were to fly around you use this you take it off you then just turn your radio back on it won't warn you again. It will just expect the antenna to be in there. So if you're going to use models with an external antenna, just to demonstrate here, it says, yeah, it should be external. Just be very careful um, that you make sure you always put it in because it's very easy, I know, to turn on a radio um, and just, it, you know, if you're used to flying it with the internal stuff, it's very easy to turn it on and expect it to be there. Um, so you, you have to start treating it once you use this as something where you always need that antenna in. So what I'm going to do, um, I've got a few new quads to fly, which I'm hoping I'll be able to do the reviews of those before this comes out. One of which is this one, which I need to fly. Um, another is the Coppers 2, which is down on the floor. And then another is the Tyro 99, which I've just built and I've lost somewhere. But I'm gonna try and fly all of those with these bigger sticks and basically see how it feels because it's pretty much gonna be down to how it feels and does it feel a little bit more like the X9D. I mean, it still feels quite diddly and uh, nice and small, but hopefully just a little bit more precision I've got in the sticks there. Let's find out. Wow, I am pleased to say that just those slightly longer sticks makes the world a difference. I went out and I reflew the HDL RC quad that was so much better. And then I took out just recently the uh, Coppice 2 here and that flew beautifully. And what I noticed because I was testing another quad on my other radio is that I could then move back and forth with these sticks and it, it, there wasn't that big change. It's still a little bit of getting used to hitting these smaller switches, but the actual flying aspect of it is really, really good. 
Now the other thing I checked out was using this little T antenna. So what I did, I flew the coppice to, to the end of the field and I had a look at the RSSI. Then I stuck this in and I flew it there again. Now I went through using this uh, vertically polarised antenna for first time and then I just hand twiddled this like so and tried it again. Now I have to say I didn't feel any difference. In, if anything, I felt it was slightly worse. Now I would say I'd use my 5 dB antenna, the Omni I had, but it's a, it's a different size, so <laughs> it's the same uh, RPSMA connector, but the, the hole is too small, so I can't get it in. Um, but I have to say, the range you get just on this uh, impresses me, and I haven't really felt the need to try and extend it yet. Now, I'm not really a strap wearer, but I think this is using this adapter and a strap is where you want to be for if you're a, a pincher, because you'd get that extra bit of support, you'd be able to sort of, obviously with the right length strap, be able to rest it against your neck and just be able to finesse the sticks a little bit like that. Still feels weird to me. Uh, 30 years of, of playing on like D-pads and Xbox controllers means that I can't be doing with trying to make the effort to relearn this. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty good setup, I think. I mean, I think it's a little bit of a shame that FreeSky didn't give the different stick adapters with the radio because everyone's got like a slightly different idea, but most people I've spoken to have, have said it feels much better with the longer sticks anyway, so yeah, maybe they'll change. But if you are thinking about it and a little bit worried it will feel different, by getting those slightly longer sticks it will feel much more comfortable. And God, it does save some space in the bag. Just to put it into perspective, this is my normal case for my uh, X9D. It's, it's a bit of wasted space there. And that's the x Lite case. It's like about half the size, it's it's thinner as well as smaller. And I really do notice a difference when I've got this radio there. So I'm generally putting all my new models on this one because uh, I really like it. It might be the fact that I sort of go planes on the X9D and quads on this one, I don't know yet, but, but I really like this and I especially like it now I've got those sticks. So thanks very much to Andrea once again. And um, yeah, I hope that video is helpful and I will catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.